Well, you'll be surprised at how many people aren't aware of when they are feeling in anger. They may feel an emotion, but they don't know exactly how to pinpoint what it is. So wow. it's really being able to step back. And when you're discussing the different issues with them, they can say, wow. That. And it's like a light bulb that goes off when you're working with a group, and they all of a sudden are, that's why when I say this, you do that. Oh. That they can realize that. So when you're working just for yourself, if you're trying to figure that out, even if you just sit with a piece of paper just in a quiet time, you know, get your cup of tea and just sit to reflect whether it's journaling or whatever, but what are the triggers that set you off? When do you feel most content if we're talking in the workplace? Mm -hmm. What's the time of day that mm -hmm. you feel most empowered, that you're really on your A game? Where is it that you start to, or what, who, you know, all of those different aspects that can really just unnerve you? And it really impacts the communication. We tend to make some assumptions mm -hmm. about other people's actions and behaviors, but we don't always look at what other people's assumptions or impact may be by our actions. Mm -hmm. You know, a simple little <sighs> sigh that has nothing to do with anyone in the office, but somebody who takes things personally, who has that dynamic within, Might they think, think it's about themselves. Mm -hmm. you it's know? a filter. It is. So it's what glasses do you have on, but the awareness level that you can raise is by really looking at your interactions with each other.